So I'm Julie Matthews, a certified nutrition consultant from California, and I am here at the Mind Forum talking about how food and nutrition impact children and really the importance of how the food choices and nutritional choices that parents choose can really help support their child both through their health as well as learning and behavior. First thing I always think about is removing the artificial additives, the junk foods and things like that. It's a really simple but important first step of getting out those chemicals and additives that can really cause a lot of behavior and physical challenges. And then we look at various diets and often look at how we can apply the particular diet to the biochemistry of the person. So often we'll look at gluten and dairy and soy. They're very inflammatory. They can affect the ability for the, the gut or the gastrointestinal system to absorb the nutrients that they need for their body and their brain to function. And when those proteins can't get broken down, they can actually form opiates, and those opiates literally can fit in the opiate receptor and act similarly to morphine. So foggy thinking, inattentiveness, and all sorts of other challenges. So with diet, we look at removing those and seeing what positive effects that they can have. They can be step-by-step -step improvements as you begin to remove the junk food, remove the artificial additives, maybe take out gluten or dairy. So sometimes the results can be incredibly dramatic, uh, whether it's improvements in health and digestive function to learning, behavior, language, sleep, all sorts of different areas depending on what that child is dealing with. Sometimes they can be really profound. Sometimes language can significantly improve. I've had clients go from no words uh, at say three years old to 200 words in a period of a few months on a gluten-free and dairy-free diet. I've had parents tell me that their child was only saying single words and then started to speak in multiple word sentences or have a back and forth conversation for the first time. So Nourishing Hope is a website and a, a concept that I created to help educate parents and practitioners on the importance of food and nutrition for supporting their children and their highest potential. And so I have a variety of learning tools, books, cooking support, uh, nutrition models, to make it both easy for parents that are trying to implement these changes and also include the science and the latest research so professionals and practitioners can also apply that information and also sharing my clinical experience after doing this for 12 years as to what I've learned so that other practitioners can share that with the families they're working with.